hi everyone today i want to show you how you can do import and export of data from erp next and or frappe framework so um i will first of all be showing you how to export a template that you are then going to uh, feed with your data let's say for instance you have some customers and then i will also show you how you can import that to the system all right so if you want to export a template for our customer here and by the way what i will be doing with the customer is just uh, a demo with a customer doc tape if what you have is users for instance you want to add users to the system you can do the same from here you can work basically on any of these doc types so i'll be using customer just an exam as an example you can use any doc type or any data that you want to import you can use these steps as well so i'll first of all open my doc type that is the customer doc type for the purpose of this demo and then on top just before the um, the add customer button you can see that there is a place we have another small button with three dots uh, at the middle so you click on that uh, those three dots and then the first option you have there is import now note that even when you want to export a template so that you can feed it with data and then import it to your system you will need to go to this import function so the first thing you do is to click on import this is going to take you to the data import tool yeah, yeah, as you can see here and then what you are supposed to do here is to create a new data import for some reason maybe you have been doing this before uh, maybe this video is not for you the, if you have some of them that you have already done here then it means you know how to do this and therefore this video is for the people who would like to know how this works for the first time all right so create your new one create new then by default this will come uh, selected all right so if for some reason this it was not selected here then it means then maybe you went to the data import tool maybe from here by the way you can do that data import and then this is the same place we are so when i click on this this may not uh, really have let me refresh this uh, remove the filter so when i click this create first data import you see here i don't have a doc type okay when i don't have a doc type it means i did not go to my doc type first uh, for instance here i went to customer and then i went to three dots and then i clicked so if i come directly to the to the data import tool i can select my doc type here so customer customer and then we can proceed you can see this and this now looks the same so if for some reason your customer was not selected here by default then you can just search there you have a list of doc types you can search and you're good to go all right let me close that the next thing that we have here is uh insert new record or update existing records so if you already have some customers in your system you're going to select update existing records if you do not have any customer or you want to replace those that are there you can click uh you, or you can go with um insert new records i'll select that at the moment then this one uh, means that when I create my customers do I want the system to send them emails or I don't mind if the system doesn't send emails if you do not want the system to send emails then make sure you leave this checked if you want the system to send emails to these customers then make sure you uncheck that save and then the next screen gives us the document type which is customer um, import type is a new record and then we have two very important buttons here the first button says download template and the second button says import file all right the first button which is download template is what we are supposed to click so that we can export our template so when i click on this it will load this model which allows me to select the type of file that i want the uh, export type if i want any records at all i can export all the records i can filter i can get only five or i can get a blank template or um yeah i can get a blank template then here i can select whether i want an excel or a csv file 
and then down here I can now select the fields that I want to be shown on my template basically this means when you import the data what fields would you like the system to capture when you're importing that data so here we can select a number of these I, uh, maybe I want the gender of the customer or maybe if you have corporate customers you don't need necessarily to check that you may be needing something like the website of the customer the mobile number of the customer the email id and just like that you select all the fields that you need here and then you click on export when you export that this is going to export a csv file if you selected that you wanted an excel then it could have exported an excel file all right so this is the csv that has been exported i can make this a little bit larger for the sake of your eyes and here you see we have the id the full name the type the customer group territory website mobile number and email id these are the fields that i selected there so if you selected more than this they should be loaded there if you if you selected fewer you should see fewer in your template nice then let's say for instance we have exported that and now maybe this is even uh, another day let's actually let me actually get out of here let's say you have exported that and now you have gone you have uh filled in your data in your template and now you have come back so you you are here you have exported your template you have filled in the data and then you want to use it now you want to key it into your system now i have some data from uh that i can use for the purpose of this demo from some company i'm not going to be showing you this because it is sensitive information but i have it here i have prepared it with that excel sheet so let's say now that i need to import that data to the system so it's a list of customers remember and then we go to the three dots again when you are importing you have to go to the three dots then click on import and you notice here that we have this import that we had prepared so you just click on it and then here we attach a file so click on attach and then you just browse your file my file is this one all right and then i click on upload the file and just like that my file has been uploaded okay so here is the file now here we can see that we have two issues here the first issue so the good news here is that the system gives you the problems that it has encountered the first one is that the customer group uh contracting is not in the system and therefore when you see that you can go straight to let me open this go to customers and then i can go to customer group so customer group um let me just add it from here edit in full page you see customer group here the customer groups you have are these commercial government individual and non-profit so we can just add another group called contracting so i can go ahead and copy this name and add it here so this is how you debug just in case you find any issues with the system so this one we have sorted and then it is also complaining that we do not have a user by the name bernard this one so what this means is that this user because uh, you can see here bernard has been used as the account manager this user must be existing into the system so i will go here i will go to users and then i'll create a new user and i'll give this email and i can just do bernard and that's it i don't need to send emails so when that is done now these two issues are sorted out now i did this intentionally so that you can see how frappe and erp next shows you the errors and how you can resolve them or how to decode them the good news is that it um it tells you very clearly what exactly is wrong with your data so you can see here we have uh, import file errors and warnings column four this one is talking about customer group the following values do not exist in customer group and that is contracting then the following values do not exist in user and that is this one very easy to debug that all right so now i can clear this file and reload it and then i can attach it afresh 
so i attach my file again upload it it's uploading and you can see the file load successfully and now you can go ahead and click on start import and when you do that the system is now importing the records for you so we can allow it some few minutes to do the import and now when we go to customers we should start seeing those customers loading and just like that you have a customer so i do not want to stay on this page for very long because it's uh it's data that belongs to some other company so that is how you do it and thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video